G'day fellas, this is Drongo and today I'm going to talk about how to set up and how to use Drongo's air operations. So there's no real special setup that you have to do to use it with any mission. If there are radars and aircraft in a mission, uh, Drongo's air ops will automatically detect those and start using them, make them available to you. It is possible to exclude things and see the readme for that. So all that I've done here is I've put down some aircraft. Aircraft that start on the ground won't take off until given an order. And uh, these ones are airborne. Where you put your radars is important. So I've put this one up here. Uh, more elevation means you'll see better. Uh, terrain will block radar detection. I've put some enemy units over here. Radar and a SAM. The radar will start off. And there's a way to toggle that, which I'll show you later. I've put these enemy aircraft just on loiter orders so that they don't go gallivanting all over the map as soon as we start the mission. So let's hit play. And first things first, you can open the dialogue by pressing H, the H key. And you can define that here options, controls. Configure add-ons, Drongo's air ops, and you can set your key here. So hit H, and this gives us a list of our available aircraft and current stats of whichever one we select. And down here we can see the remaining ordnance on the craft. You can click on that to get uh, a bit more explanation about it. Okay. These are very important. These are our marker toggles. So if we turn on our air and look at the map, now we can see our various aircraft. And if enemy are air aircraft are detected, we can also see them. So SAMs show us the radius of our SAMs. And radars, same thing. Our radars are not showing up at the moment because all of our radars are switched off. So I'll show you what happens with that in a second. And airports. Now at the moment only Altus, Stratus and Tanoa are supported for air ops. If you want to help me out with this, go to your favourite map and find the X and Y coordinates of all the airports and the airport index if you know how to do that and send that to me, that'll be a huge help so I can support other maps. Uh, so these black points here are the aircraft's egress marker and I'll talk about that a little bit later. So let's turn on one of the radars and then look at uh, the markers. Okay, now we can see the radius and the transmitter itself. So, uh, now you see that uh, they've detected some enemies firing SAMs at it. Yeah. Anyway, it can all get a bit cluttered with all this on, so that's why all the toggles are there. Just leave the aircraft on and turn our radars off. Okay, so quickly go through the orders. Let's say something is done with a uh, mission, excuse the SAMs, then you want it to uh, egress, or let's say it's done a bombing mission, automatically it will egress. That just means it returns to the those egress markers, which I told you about before. So let's say that um, you always want this craft to egress to this airfield when it's done with a mission. Just put that there. It won't start moving at the time, not until you issue an egress order or it's done some other mission or it takes enough damage and it decides it wants to go home. Um, so if you click hold, that'll mean whatever the craft is doing, it'll stop it and just hold it the position it's currently at. Just go on and loiter. Land, let's say that you want um, this craft here to uh, land at a specific airfield. You click that and then click the airfield that you want. So this bloke's on the ground here. Let's say we want to send him up for CAP, Combat Air Patrol Orders. So here's this bloke here. Hit K. 
cap. And where do you want him on the map? Let's say we want him to go here. So now he'll start taxiing for takeoff, attempt to move to that position, and engage on the aircraft. Not just craft that he detects, but uh, that are detected by any radar and everything. And all your units will share that information. So we want this float to form close air support, say so here. So the same thing, it's just uh, going to focus on attacking land targets, not air targets. Bomb I have a separate video on, you can see that. We have the, uh, SEAD means if your aircraft has arms and there's an enemy radar that you've detected, you can tell it to attack that radar. Loiter is kind of like a move command. So this is over here, we want it to hang out over here. You'll move to that position and then loiter around that position. All free means all aircraft will go weapons free. All hold means that all hold fire. Uh, it doesn't affect craft that are on the ground in standby mode. Group craft, this one toggles the type of mark that the craft are using. So at the moment you can see, oh, this is a blackfish. But we want to know what group he is, so we hit this, and now it tells us what group the aircraft is instead. Uh, gun cam just let you see what the craft is seeing. So, gunner, if the craft has a gunner position, but if we go to the gunship, gunship to move to a position and orbit that position with its weapons face towards that position. Regular loiter, they'll be faced away, but uh, this means that it'll move, circle this area here, and then you can use that gunner command to weapon hold. Oh uh, yeah, they need to go on uh, a certain type of behavior to perform their loiter properly. Don't change that or it'll start wandering all over the map. But let's say we want to go to Gunner now. So this is altitude. Try to give altitude orders before you give move orders. Um, so let's look at uh, the radar and SAM tab. So blue means that the radar's off. A star next to it means that it has a da data link which is activated. So for this bloke, oh yeah, he's got his data link on. And yeah, he's got his radar on. We can turn them all on, all off. All data link, all data link off. Your radar can be detected, so that's why it's important to turn it off sometimes. Um, now, the AI, all their radars are off, and their craft are just orbiting. But if we want them to be a bit more active, then we can run this script here. So the side, and then call this script. Once we do that, we should start to see. Enemy 
radars will be detected and this bloke with the harm missile he automatically detected that because someone else detected it and shared it with him and yeah he put a uh, anti-radar anti-radiation missile into him pronto so that's about it lads uh, if you have any questions then um let me know and i'll try to answer them Whoop, someone took some fire looks like enemy sams might have got some off have a good one lads take care bye